Welcome to Real Books. This video will give you an overview on how Real Books can simplify managing your accounts. We will start by creating a ledger. Begin by clicking on the Masters menu at the top left, then click on Accounts, then Ledger, and subsequently on Create. The same can be done by activating the shortcuts by pressing the tilde button and then the key M. The shortcut mode can be deactivated using the Escape key on the keyboard. Whichever way you choose to do this action, it will subsequently bring you to the Ledger Master Create screen. The first thing to do is name the ledger. We'll create one called Travel Agent. Next, you enter the ledger code, which must be unique for every ledger. Now select the ledger group from the drop down menu. Activating cost centers by checking this box will let you classify expenses in additional ways. Activating bills will help you track transactions with third parties. In this case, it helps Realbooks show you how much you owe the travel agent, bill by bill, and also the credit period extended. Now tap on Save at the bottom right or press Ctrl S on your keyboard and your ledger is ready. If you're on the transaction entry screen and can't find a ledger for that particular transaction, you can create a new ledger with the keyboard shortcut Alt plus C. Just fill in the details in this pop-up and hit Save. Now that you have created a ledger, it's time to learn about voucher creation. Click on Transactions at the top left, then on Accounts, then on Vouchers. The same can be done by simply pressing N on the keyboard while in the shortcut mode. This opens a transaction entry screen. Quickly select the voucher type from the drop-down menu. Next, enter the date at the top right. When you leave the box after typing in the day and the month, Realbooks will automatically enter the date with the current year. Typing in just the day will automatically fill in the current month and the year. Now navigate to the Create Ledger Entry box where an autofill box appears with the existing ledgers as soon as you start typing. We are going to select Donation here and type in the amount in the Create Amount Entry box. Pressing the plus key on your keyboard will also activate a calculator. Navigate to the Debit Ledger now where you enter the transaction format Cash or Bank. Fill in or modify the debit amount and you are mostly done. Finally, you come to the narration window where you enter a brief note about the transaction. Press submit and voila, your voucher is ready. To access ledger reports, you must navigate to reports in the main toolbar, click on accounts, daily reports and then ledger. Or you can simply press the key L on your keyboard while in the shortcut mode. On the ledger report screen, in the box in the top left, enter the name of the ledger, input the date range during which it was created and click on search. The results will automatically appear in the space below. Click on the transaction you are interested in and press shift plus enter to view details of the same. If you select this transaction and press enter, you can edit it too. Here, we are going to change the donation amount to Rs 12,000 in the credit entry box. We then make the same change to the debit entry box. Press submit and the new entries will be saved. Now when you come back to the ledger report screen, you'll see that the donation amount has been updated in the ledger report. Export a report easily by clicking on the export button at the top right as an Excel with details without details with the pivot structure and more. By changing the range of dates, you can get a comprehensive list of all the entries made under that particular ledger. To filter reports by mode of payment, simply type bank or cash in the box under description and the filter will be applied immediately. The net amount at the bottom right also changes. As is clear, Rs. 1,24,000 were received by our bank transactions. Remove the filter and the amount changes accordingly. Similarly, if you want to find out how many people contributed more than Rs. 15,000, you simply type 15,000 with the greater than prefix in the box below credit. If you have created a voucher and the transaction was marked as bank instead of cash, a bank reconciliation statement can be created. Navigate to reports, followed by daily reports, and then to bank reconciliation. This will open up the Bank Reconciliation Statement screen. From the Select Ledger's drop-down menu at the top left, first select the bank, then enter the date and hit Search. You'll then see a date-wise list of unreconciled bank transaction entries. To reconcile the entries, navigate to the BRS Entries button at the top right and click. This opens the BRS Entry page, where you can enter the date of reconciliation, which we are going to set to April 11, 2016, and hit Save at the bottom right. Let us now navigate back to the BRS report page. We have set the date to April 11, 2016 
and as you can see, the previously unreconciled entry is no longer there. It has successfully been accounted for. Also, when we navigate to the ledger report and search for Indian bank entries, it appears with an R on the extreme left. As you may have guessed, the green R demarcates a reconciled entry. Real books. Business intelligence redefined.